Hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Stream Realms of Arcania. Now I've got to do this this awkward uh, stream transition. <laughs> but good to see you all. Thank you all for joining me for this here thing. Can open that up. Play it. Play it. What the hell? Oh, there we go in there in the background. There it is. <laughs> that great. Um, all right. You guys should be able to hear the music. It's probably loud, right? Might have to alt tab out. I did try and fix it, but um, it's really hard to judge. So, um, that base, yeah. But I mean, level wise, can we turn down? It sounds nice though. It's a little loud. Okay. So, here we go with this again. How's that? Oh, I can actually do it without the, that being there. See, now we have this. Um, that's probably better, right? Okay, brilliant. So, here we are. The other trees! Oh my god, there are trees. Oh god, freaking trees. So, here we are, back in the game of Realms of Arcania. Um, yeah, it's a lot, right? Um, so we're going to go over this bridge because we need to go and find Thorgrim who's going to occupy this spot down here. He is a dwarf fighter um, so he's going to be quite useful for us. I, I am. I have no choice. Maybe I could cast some spells on them but I don't know if it's really worth it. So we've got a couple things going on. Uh, the primary one is that beyond this is the graveyard and apparently the dead are coming back to life. I think the main quest has something to do with the... Is it the Holberkins or something like that? There's a, there's a um, orc uprising. And there's a, um, a group of like half orcs pretty much called the... I think it's Holberkins, something like that. Uh, who live here, who have been kind of being persecuted because people think they might be behind it. Or some might. Uh, there's also um, a mage in a tower somewhere that might be kidnapping people's pets to do experiments on them. And there's a haunted tower somewhere as well. But for now, we're going to head up here. And uh, have a look around. And try and find... Thorgrim. I think I know where he is. Because you, you sort of like go round and up and then down again into the um, market square. Where the main shops are. And he's in a, he's, his house is in a corner. Somewhere around there. But, uh... We'll have a word with, with this guy. Hi. Greetings, I'm Zebert Durban, the city of Ratcatcher. Oh, it's asking him about rats. Say, what gave you the idea to catch rats for a living in the first place? You see, I've been interested in alchemy for a long time. In the course of that, I discovered, by pure coincidence, but it was the only thing I have discovered. A, an odiferous agent rats find irresistible. Since then, I've been a rat catcher. There's a real need for them, you know. I've even had callers from several other cities trying to lure me away with their offers. What sort of stuff do you use to lure the rats? I'm sorry. I'd like to keep my profession, uh, professional secrets. Who knows what sort of profit I can make from it. Anyhow. Well, it doesn't seem like much, considering where you live, right? What you look like, but anyway. It's hardly noticeable for humans, but rats simply can't resist its pull. Huh. Yeah, okay, Aaron works. I will do. Yeah, Hall Birkins, there we go. So, what do you think about the Hall Birkins being behind the Orc Uprising? Huh. Uh, of course they do. A lot of people do. First, they're sent to deal with the orcs because no one else wants to do it, and then they're branded traitors for it. Apart from their blind fear of the black pelts, the most significant trait of the townspeople is their sheer stupidity. All right, so he doesn't really think that the Holberkins are behind the uprising. 
Are you afraid about an imminent attack of the orcs? Uh, the big armies have shoved off to the south and the orc tribes of the area left um, only very few warriors behind. I wouldn't know when orc force could attack us anytime soon. Something about Riva, maybe? For Port City, Riva is remarkably clean. Normally, rats breed extremely fast so close to the water, but the city took up several of my suggestions on expanding the sewer system, and it pays. Oh, well done you. Well done you. Bye! So he's useful. Right, what is this? <laughs> There'll be one silver each, the rat catcher says. Grumpus tries to bargain for a discount, uh, but the rat catcher stays firm. I make it hardly profit as it is, he explains. I need the money to buy the necessary ingredients. After convincing Zebet de Ben to recalculate the amount of ingredients needed, Grumpus finally manages to get a discount of one bit. So Zebet builds a remarkable contraption with a small hand pump. He draws some fluid from a big cauldron above an open fire into a hose that leads to a shower head. A second smaller cauldron contains clear water for rinsing. The shower head is set above a wooden basin with a lot of holes in the bottom. The solution mustn't stay on the skin for too long. So it has to be able to flow straight out, the right catcher explains. We're de being deloused. And this could be useful, right? The rat catcher pulls a curtain around the shower and the basin underneath. When Cassandra has sat down in the basin, Zebet calls out, Close your eyes until I tell you to open them again. And starts pumping. The, uh, starts pumping. the fluid is itching and stinging on Cassandra's skin and is also far too hot. Hopefully the vermin feels the same about it. Shortly afterwards, the stinging subsides, lukewarm water flows from the shower and the procedure ends. While Cassandra towels off, Durban asks for her clothes, which he first beats out carefully and then dusts with a small atomizer. An atomizer? Then he beats them out again and hands them back through the curtain. After Cassandra has pulled back the curtain and stepped out, the rat catcher gestures towards the basin. Next, please. The whole procedure is repeated until all of you are clean. Oh, we got a charisma decrease for everyone increased oh increased but it hurt okay so it hurt a bit but um we now have extra charisma for probably a little while we lost one life point so that's not too bad right Beauty is pain, indeed. So right here, where we are, is a rat catcher. Yeah. And of course we are deloused now, which is good. Some stuff over there. Guessing most of these won't be able to get into. Warehouse is locked. This is a place as well. Well, obviously, but a place that we'll have to mark, I think. Hi. May the gods smile on you. Tell us something about the town. There's a mage said to ply a holy trade outside the city. On stormy nights, you often see lightning strike his tower. Probably the same guy who's doing this stuff with the pets, allegedly. Heard about the conspiracy between the Orcs and the Holberkins? Ridiculous. What do you think about the Holberkins? Nobody knows these half-breeds that well. So you've not got a lot to say, but... All the best. Thank you. We can do business from 100 paces and on, on, on upwards. After that, you can order smaller amounts too. And that reasonable prices. The Roper woman winks at you. What is this? Hi, Juniper. Hmm. The whole wander around and enter around the buildings gameplay loop is not my favorite. I gotta find out what a, where everything is though. 
If I could click on someone and, and or click on somewhere and know what it was before entering, then that would be good, but that's not an option, so I've got to find out the lay of the land, I'm afraid. All right, so. Ask for the price? Yeah, I think we will need a rope. If there's, if someone offers a rope, you buy the rope. I learned this from Fallout. There are two kinds of rope available, normal strength and extra strength. I can do special orders too. A normal strength rope will set you back five bits of pace. The extra strong one is nine bits. Normal strength is the sort of rope available in shops. Whereas extra strong rope is used mainly aboard ships. Huh. Rope and 10-foot poles. Mm -hmm. We'll close the deal. I mean, why not? We can get normal rope anywhere. Let's have the strong stuff, as Cassandra announces. Right away, the roper starts measuring out your purchase. She's so occupied with her work, she doesn't notice Cassandra's expression grow ever more worried as the reel grows bigger and bigger. Finally, the woman cuts the rope um, as evenly as possible and beams, that'll be 90 ducats. Which is probably more than we have. Of course, I'm willing to accept an IOU, the roper hastens to add as she sees Cassandra's sheepish face. But don't even think about a discount in that case. She goes to a small desk in the corner and starts scratching out something with a quill on a piece of parchment. When she is finished, she hands it to Cassandra for a signature. In a, a strenuous concerted effort, you manage to get the mountain of rope out the door, aided by the roper. Do come again, she calls after you with a wave. Cassandra scratches her head. A thousand paces are more than I thought, she admits, and damned heavy. Carish nods in agreement. About 10,000 ounces, this. We're not going to get very far lugging that around. Oh boy. Yeah, it's... So we have a... 10,000 paces of super rope. And an IOU. Uh, musing, Cassandra looks at the rope. Say, isn't this the harbour area? It takes you a full hour to move the rope to a more fr um, frequented spot, and another five to sell it all off to, to various uh, sailors and passers-by. The largest amount, 300 paces, isn't sold to a merchant... Uh, is... 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 <laughs> sold to a, a merchant shipment. All in all, you earn 92 gold cutouts. Um, Ducats, you are bushed. So for wow, okay. So we got two ducats, a load of strength reduction. I don't know if this is better or worse. Probably worse. Yeah. Well, yeah, because now it's, uh, look, it's evening time. Okay, well now we've got to, f hang on. So we can mark that as Roper. I mean, that might be Ducats. It's pronounced Duck Cats. Duck Cats, you reckon? I think it's Ducats. Uh... Oh, I'm using. I'm. I'm trying to use Wazid to move. Cool. Oh God, what am I doing? No, I want that one. Fine, yes. Okay. What's the difference between duck cats and cat ducks? Probably quite extensive. But I do need to pay off my IOU. Yeah, let's do that. Hi. Oh, um, apparently not. Huh. Oh wait, maybe it's um buy. Yes. 
I mean, we don't have to, do we? But let's do it. Grisly, the Roper, takes the 90 Ducats and rips up the IU she took from you from, from a draw. To future business, she says with a smile. So we got two gold. Um, so I guess that was probably worth it. I mean, that strength will probably get better when we rest, which we'll have to soon, because it's currently... Three o'clock in the afternoon, so. Hmm. Tower is a large doorway, but it appears to have been walled up years ago. You notice some bad windows further up. I reckon we can get up there, you know. If we have a rope ladder or something like that. This could be, I don't know if I if, if I can look up there, but oh no, no. Um, but this seems like maybe it's the haunted tower. I don't know how to look up though. I don't know what the button is. I mean, you could, you could let me know. No, not page up. That would that would be intuitive, right? That makes sense. I know there's a, there's there's a help somewhere. Um, I've got the I've got my folder here with your guide in Falskeld. Let's see. F one. Oh. Oh! This is different. It's not what I was thinking of, though. A three? No, it's... I don't know. It didn't matter too much. Oh, hang on a minute. Shouldn't these be on... Slow. It's all right. Anyway, I put that away. All right. Wonder in everywhere. Oh, stuff and things, right? Yeah, the screensaver, I know. Praise effort. Oh, a lot of us, um, a lot of us, us do worship effort, so. Elia Karbeck sent, uh, sent us. We'll take a look around town. Well, I shall be glad to assist where I can. All right, Efford. This must be a busy temple. Certainly, Riva is a port city, so many sailors come here to give thanks to the Lord of the Seas. Do you believe the conspiracy of the Orcs and the Holberkins? In truth, it is hard to believe. The Holberkins as a whole are quite gentle, and they appear harmless indeed. But what do you really know about them? Nothing. Nothing at all. Who can tell if their gentleness is not merely a charade for our benefit? Or not benefit, really. You should always have an eye on the Halberkins. Maybe you know something about the Orcs? No, that's all I can tell you about the Black Pelts. What does that know about Reva? Apart from the Halberkins, now there's the old watchtower right next door. Yeah, so it is that. Uh, it's been bricked up years ago, but that's not helped us one bit. Yeah, so there's the watchtower. Okay, so... Efford Temple. Mark it now. And the watchtower. Which is... Where is it? I've lost it. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I guess. I guess that works, yeah. Go to the sea and stuff. Uh, you can hear the noise from quite a distance away in the middle of a large... 
crowd of people, four strong men are carrying a large blanket bearing a small figure. About a dozen men and women are constantly running around the bearers with helpful suggestions about better ways to do their task. The rest of the crowd seems split into two large factions, each contesting a different opinion. After a number of failed attempts, Hilde finally manages to get a conversation going with someone from the smaller of the two factions. Idiocy! Madness! The guy shouts. The CRS could have helped him just as well, but no, they have to carry him all the way across town. Quenya may know a lot of things we shall never learn, but the dwarf will get a much better care from the herbalist. That much is certain, interrupts a woman from the opposing side. Okay, some dwarf has been wounded and the people are fighting about which healer to bring him uh, to for treatment. Hilda summarizes um, she knowledge. <laughs> um, she looks over the crowd with a discerning eye. Then she walks straight towards a Thorwallian who looks especially upright and warrior-like. Home and page end. Home and end. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Valskill. The Dwarven Mine has been at attacked by the Orcs! Ah, there we go. Um, stupid Prim Flounder faces with their ridiculous argument about who's the better healer. We'll form a posse and show those uh, mangy black pelts. The Thorwallian shouts, some of the people in his vicinity are applauding loudly. We'll overrun those ugly vermin like the avalanche overran the mine years ago. There, there's a little bit of like exposition in dialogue without actually being uh, too obvious. I like that. The mob finally reaches the herbalist's house. The woman seems to know her business. The first thing she does is chase everybody out who isn't needed. Led by the Thalwalian, the crowd marches on the market square, shouting uh, vicious taunts against the orcs. I remember this. And they, they, it, it just kind of like peters out. They kind of like realize it's a bad idea. Mind you, the closer you get to the square, the softer these shouts grow. When you finally reach your destination, you look behind you in amazement. There's no sign of a posse. You see neither hide nor hair of the mob. The Thalwallian is the only one of them who actually made it all the way here. But seeing the others have abandoned him, he decides to attack some stout instead. He disappears inside the nearest tavern. <laughs> Have we moved then? We have moved. Oh, for God's sakes. Um, the marketplace is probably here. Well, at least we got to the market. That's where I wanted to be. So that's good. Uh, Cassandra says, yes, the big building at the other side is the market hall. A passing woman replies, pointing to the big building. <laughs> for some reason, I am quite amused by that. Uh, in the west of the marketplace. Oh, okay, bye. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that! Right, okay. Um. Hmm. That's not him. <laughs> He's around here somewhere, though. He's, he's thawed him. The man who opens the door is wearing a bailiff's uniform. Yes, what's up? Tell us something about the town. A bit outside um, of the town, at the swamp hole, there's an old tower where a black magician is conducting holy experiments. We tried to bring the man before the court of law quite a while ago, but the place is so hard to reach. Couldn't wish for better protection. It's Bill Bailey, it is. And the usual kind of stuff there. They think it's quite a peaceful lot. So, all good. Bye! This is a- this is a shop or something? It'll soon be time for them to throw us out, though. Hi. Can I help you? Just the usual kind of stuff. Pirates that have built a base in Sorek Isle. Maybe we'll go there at some point. Let's see what she sells. Alright, so general store, I reckon. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll exit and save and then try and buy some stuff because I can't remember 
how stuff works. <laughs> Um, is there a quick save? Uh, no. Probably not, right? Uh, we'll do a new one, and we'll do... Shopping! Ping. There we go. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta learn how, to, how stuff works, right? Yeah, I wouldn't... As soon as I, as soon as I said it, I thought, um... Yeah, that's pretty good idea. All right, so we will get uh, a crowbar. Um, five food packages, actually six, one each. Um, it's quite, a, mind you, we've got 15. Is it a brandy bottle, a blanket, water skin, torches, some beer, and some charcoal. Hmm. More rope. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the rope. I don't know how much rope it is, you know? Am I just buying one rope there or one sort of length of it, right? And I'm not sure what all these mean. These probably go across our inventory or hers. That's a big buy button, so that's 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 easy. Um Yeah, it does look like it. I'm gonna click it. Who'll do the haggling? Uh, Cassandra. Really? Wow. Fine. Three fingers means haggling. Isilda takes back the rest of the goods. What? Have I just sold them all again? So I'll have to reload that, I think, because I did something wrong. Have to hit that button first. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Let's try that again. That's why I saved it, because I, I knew that this would be kind of clunky. No, uh, better not. We're going to load shopping. We'll just buy, buy like a crowbar, right? 30% discount. Nice. Okay, so we pay that much. And then, this is where I think, you know, we, we've, we've done it right, but... Yeah, okay. I miss it. So, it's Karen Lair. You allocate to a party member. Right, okay, so now it's, oh. So this is still the shop, right? What says will we give them back? Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. But yeah, right. So I gave um, Variax the crowbar. And then... We succeed. All right. So let's get the other stuff that I bought. Because I think this will be useful. So we'll get six of these. And some torches. Um, whetstone. And two. It's a lot of money, but, you know. 30% discount again. So we'll give you them. Oh, they're actually using them, I think. Oh, wait, no. Is this their encumbrance? Right there? I think it is. Yeah. 
All right. All right, so now I have to buy and sell stuff now, so that's good. And we got some rudimentary equipment. There's an in there that we'll leave. Um, until we have to rest. Uh, this looks like, um, is it steeper semi? Praise facts. Elia Kalbeck asked us to have a look around town. She told us to go to you. The priest gives you a friendly nod. What would you like to know? Uh, tell, tell us about facts. There aren't many public uh, temples that get to the fox. If you believe that, you haven't been around much. Tell us about Reva. Apart from some people exhibiting the strange behavior, but Elia will have told you about that already. Believe the orcs and the Holberkins are conspira uh, conspiring. Really, the Holberkins are much too harmless for that. On the other hand, it would certainly be easy um, to use those gormless creatures for nefarious ends without their knowledge. Interesting. God of the night and thieves and also trade. Cool. So, in these temples, I've just been marking them down, but we can get um, blessings, can't we? I think I'm going to. Of course, there's one on an island somewhere that's really good that heals us or something. I want to save money for that. Is it like Vex? Yeah. Don't bother with that just yet. Couple houses back here. Hi. All right, so you've got armors. All right, let's let's load this. Let's let's, uh, let's save this. <laughs> See what these buttons do, right? <laughs> uh, yes. It's uh, home and end. Falsch girl very kindly looked it up. So we found a smithy here. And we've got like buy and sell and stuff. So this is fairly obvious now to me. Though I don't know what these do yet. But still. We'll leave that. Here you go, Narami. Um, Alright, Narami. Thank you very much. You take care. See you soon. And then we'll press this button. Nothing to offer. Press this button. You haven't brought anything into repair. Okay, so we, we can damage stuff as well. Damage our items. The mighty Faustgeld, um, in his guide, said that um, I, sh I should loot everything, including like, all the weapons and stuff I can find. So obviously you can sell that there. Um, let's add that to the map. Go and get in there. Hi. Fall up Fennel, teacher, it says on the uh, plain sign by the door. A bit hesitantly, Cassandra knocks. Have you come for tutoring? Apparently not, though I will mark this down as Fennel teacher, I think. Hi, Jewett. How are you? Yeah, loot everything. Sneaking a break uh, from work to watch a weird old RPG. Nobody's home there. This is a weird old RPG, and that's, that's that's a very good way of describing it. It's a very weird uh, old RPG, this. Deserted house. 
Uh, did I go here? That's okay. Yeah, that's the. Uh... All right. So the, sh the stores are closed now. Oh, cheese toast, one bit. That's what it says on the sign next to the vending booth. Eat more cheese toast. The vendor cries out. What about a little snack? Hell yes. You know that cheese toast is lip smacking good. <laughs> And that isn't just flavor, because that would have reduced our hunger. A little bit. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so these are all deserted, it looks like. That's the market hall. I don't really want to go there just yet. Ah, travelers, good day to you all. I assume you have come to increase your knowledge. You are in luck. I, I do have the time for a few lessons at the moment. However, you will surely understand that I need to uh, charge you 10 silver crowns for the service. I, I don't know. I don't think there is craft. Oh, there is crafting because there's herbalism. So, yeah, there is. <laughs> You can make Molotov cocktails and stuff. Spend the evening with something more important. Or we could take some lessons. We could take some lessons. Yeah, we'll take some lessons. Lessons last until late at um, night. Volop Vanel, your teacher. Oh! So this is where he works. Uh, broaches a vast number of subjects. Some of it is boring, but some of it is quite interesting as well. You find that life doesn't teach you everything you need to know uh, after all. Guess what? It's dark. <laughs> okay. Yeah, do lash you exactly. Um Another big issue, your mage has a staff. Next time you rest you can try a staff incantation to upgrade the stick. Alright, I'll try it. Now it's camouflage. I don't know which spell we're looking for. I forget. Clairvoyance. Staffing conditions are important, but can take a while to get done. Well, I will try and rest when I can move. Where's the illumination spell? Something I'm going to have to get down, but I can't. Is it this one? Yeah. I love it sounds like the um, Millennium Falcon trying to start and going to hyperdrive. There we go. So there's an inn over this way. You think there'd be a bit more light in town, but then again, maybe not. I don't know. Now you guys get to hear this music. I'm just gonna let it play. Now, it gets better. This is nice, isn't it? But just wait for the solo. It's coming. Here it is. No, that's not it. <laughs> There's one that has like this terrible kind of like... Um... 
Maybe she'll come in. It's like if it was Ella, and it's just like... Anyway. Might be the way attacking Stout. You knocked... I knocked on the right door, okay. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's now. No, it's not. It's a different track. Anyway, it's pretty nice. Anyway. Hi! Hi! Ah. No, that's a lot of money. Hi! This is Ada Zitano. There it is. Kazoo, that's it. <laughs> I was like, woohoo! Oh, amazing. Uh, right, new haunting at the old watchtower in the harbor. Someone's always seen ghosts there. And it just repeats. But yeah, it's just fantastically terrible. That's a good way of putting it. It's fantastically terrible. Uh, what's going on with the orcs? Nothing! You don't notice the orcs much since they're warriors when he wears south of the armies. Okay. Let's rest here. All right, okay, but you want to do the staff thing, right? So, yeah, I mean, I don't know how to do any of the stuff that you're telling me to do. That's the thing. Like, you know, yes, you can enchant your staff, yes, but I, I don't know, like, what the process is. Okay, rent a room. Does it matter what sort of room we get? Okay, I don't think it does. What? Oh! Better room, better chances. Oh, well. Well, we're only trying stuff out, so... No biggie. So I don't want to steal. I reckon it is this, right? Seems fairly obvious, but... We are waiting for the kazoo. It'll come around again, don't worry. You'll get bored of it before, um... I'm gonna press this, right? Karish? Wand ritual. Oh! <laughs> you guys said this was difficult. Do you even know how to play this game? Uh, what time is it? It's... It's five in the morning? What? Okay, well, we won't rest for long then. Uh... Five, hour, five hours? Eh, six hours. Good. Right, let's leave. Better room, better chances with the ladies! Oh boy. Okay, so we've already been to Thalgrim's house, so we can now uh, try and do that again. Maybe one of these? No, wait. This one. There he is! It's Keeley! 30 years too soon or something. Hi! Thorgrim the Strong. Hello, visitors. What do you want with me? The Firun Priestess centers here. S um, Sina Leska. It's about the Baron's Field. Oh, you need help? Hold on. I'll just grab my trusty axe here. Uh, not so fast. We've got a few questions first. The dwarf looks somewhat disappointed. All right, then. What do you want to know? Tell us about Reva. Anything interesting going on? 
unbelievable what's happened to the mine. I came here with the others at the start and I've worked at the mine for a while too, until I deserted as Radamil would probably have called it. So what? I'm not part of his entourage. I was just hired on. Do you believe in a conspiracy of the Holberkins and the Orcs? Well, I've been in town long enough to notice there's quite a number of people who have been behaving a bit peculiar lately. Definitely different from the way they used to act. They might be under some sort of foreign influence. In any case, their change is favourable to the Orcs, but I can't quite fit it in um, the Holberkins yet. You got any information about the Holberkins? No. All right, enough idle talk. What are you planning? Use another fighter? Uh, we definitely take the dwarf along. Hang on, I'll just grab my trusty axe here. Good. Hi, right, supports. He's modeled after Uric Kiaso, the creator of the. There's an there's there's an eye. I don't know what that means. Sorry, the the da the dark something. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, system. That's kind of cool. I always forget what the, what it's what it's called. The, the system. <laughs> Pretty sure it's dark something. The the dark eye. That's why I thought it was the dark eye, but I'm like that doesn't say the dark eye. But of course it's in German, so yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we got we got Thorgri here. Now Thorgri has some nice equipment, which I don't know how to access. Hey, that's the way I look, okay? Oh. Oh, you can change the freaking thing anyway. What the hell? Okay. The door guy. Um. I don't know how to get to his inventory. Um. use an item. Crowbar cannot be used. He's got loads of stuff, right? Oh, what? I don't know how I did that. Um, there's a scroll rolled up at the top of the screen. There is. I don't know how I missed that. That was so obvious. <laughs> that is neat. I like that. Um, but yeah, you know. So he's got a bunch of nice stuff which we're going to take off him. At least, like, these and stuff, you know? I really know. But then how do I... Give items to other characters. Oh, right. Oh, just simple as that. Okay. Huh. Okay. Yeah, and that... It's, it's elegant. It works. That's a nice thing as well. Look at this. Hang on. If we give that to a lady. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, it might, it might be. Oh, she's not going to use the plate. All right, we need, we need to find something. <laughs> Nothing for pants. What about shoes? Those little details though, I mean... Alright, that could work. 
Oh well. Huh. Okay. Ladies are only able to wear sandals, apparently. Yeah, I get that how it works. I mean, that's, that's fairly obvious. Um. All right. Anyway, we got we got we got Thogger. Excellent. We got Thogger. That's great. Um, this place. Yeah, we'll go in here for a bit. Different area because it's like so. So much stuff. We're not going to get any of this, but you know. At least we know it's there. Oh, and this is the other side of it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We don't need to mark that, I don't think. So what's this? Oh, is this the teacher hall? No, that was there. What's this? The building is fairly intricate in construction. The corridor leads to a small door without a sign with a shrug Cassandra knocks. Hi. It's like a bank or something. The 12 be with you. Ah, uh, we are new in town and are trying to get our bearings. This is very true. Do come in. I gladly answer your questions as far as I'm able. Tell us something about new in town. General detail information is available at the city hall. All I can offer are some rumors going around. Do so. The area around the old watchtower is still said to be haunted, despite the entrance having been bricked up years ago. Yeah, we found that, but I couldn't mark it down. Although I think I can find my way back there. There's a magician living in this tower outside of town. The area is said to be haunted as well. So the citizens try to avoid it. There are dwarves operating in mine southeast of town. Two years ago, a druid appeared in town, but he disappeared just as abruptly and mysteriously. Since then, there's always someone around who claims to have seen him. There's all sorts of beasties down in the sewers. Not just the guild scum, but some mighty peculiar creatures have been reported there too. But, as I've said before, those are just rumours. Unconfirmed, mostly, and, and improbable, definitely. Wow. Okay, so he's like the... Just tells us everything. Except about the graveyard, where we're going next. Eventually. At least we had Lady Stone, that's true. All right, Halberkins and the uh, Orc Conspiracy. The Halberkins keep our trading links to the Orcs alive, so obviously they are in close contact, but I think it's a mistake to construe a conspiracy from that, especially as neither the Orcs nor Halberkins have the brains for it. Couldn't the conspiracy be controlled by someone else entirely? Well, yes, of course, that's possible, but let's not forget that the Orcs have brought war to the entire Svelte Valley. Outside the Orc lands, Halberkins are found only here in Riva. Why should anyone go to the trouble to use them for uh, his purposes? It's quite obvious from events everywhere else that they aren't needed. And that's all you can tell us about the Orcs. I like this guy, he's got a lot to say. Oh, sorry for not asking sooner. Who have we been talking to? Asks Sandra from the door. The man stands up from his chair and announces himself with the suggestion of a bow. Bosper Janug, city and county judge at Riva. All right, so we'll mark that as like the judge's house. It could be his, could be the courthouse, I don't know, but yeah, we'll call it courthouse, I think. And this is like uh, school, I guess. Training. Try to be very, you know, thorough with this. Okay. So I am tempted to kind of move things along a bit now because we could spend freaking ages having a look around Reaver, but what we can do is head back down here because this is this is where the um the graveyard is so we can just make a beeline for it 
So I think I'll do that. We can always come back here later. If I can find my way out. I seem to remember a slope. Is it there? This is going out of town, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Don't look around with the game. Well, kind of, kind of is. We'll look around in the graveyard. Yeah, these both lead the wrong way. <laughs> hmm. Alright, those are the only two ways out. Let's go... Abruptly, almost out of thin air, an old woman is standing in front of you. Ha! Ha! Noble gentlefolk, haven't you got a crust of bread to spare for old Lee? Awkwardly, Cassandra starts searching through her pack. Or even a small coin for old Lee? The beggar woman continues undeterred. By now, Cassandra has found what she's been looking for and pulls out some food. Most people don't give me anything because they think old Lee doesn't notice anyway. They think old Lee is too stupid to know. The old woman babbles on. The beggar woman does not give the impression of senility, but Grumpus notices her eyes moving about constantly. She, see, she sees everything that goes on around her. Cassandra has pulled a coin from her purse and puts it into the old woman's hand. Quickly, the beggar woman hides the gift. Oh, many thanks, noble gentlefolk, sh sh shrieks old Lee, and performs a deep curtsy, lifting the hem of her skirt with outstretched arms and bending dangerously close to the ground. Ha! Ha! Old Lee isn't stupid, oh no. She sees everything, hears everything, and remembers everything. Pompously, sh um, the obvious dimwit um, tips her forehead with one finger. Grumpus is tempted to repeat the gesture, but can restrain himself in time. <laughs> we come from afar then, noble gentlefolk? Well, we've been in the Svelte Valley quite a while before arriving here. We spent the last several weeks with the elves of East uh, Kirasim. Of course we did. You know, that's probably the second game. Ha! Ha! You are widely travelled. Then, noble gentlefolk, have you ever seen the elven king dance in the pale moonlight? Um, okay, Joker. More like around the campfire, but the moon may have been out at times. Lee's glance is remarkably clear when she glances at Ayanna with an evil expression. Ooh. Um, yet the confused smile immediately returns to her features and her eyes glaze over. After a short pause, Cassandra tells the old woman about the Salamander Stone, Star Trail, and your adventurous journey down the Svelte Valley. You're not sure just how much of it Lee understands, but she listens intently and with an open mouth. Near the end of your tale, she suddenly starts to hum softly and sway with the beat of an unheard melody. Without paying any further notice to Cassandra's words, Old Lee moves away, still caught in her strange trance and apparently unable to perceive mundane reality. You watch the beggaress until she's well out of sight, then you two walk away. How weird. Yeah, I think it's this way. I remember that in on the way in. Yeah, this is it. I think. Oh, this is the castle. I don't think we can get here. The castle is closed to unauthorized entry, the guard states in a firm but not unfriendly tone. However, there is a guided tour every Earth Day at two hours after noon, three bits ahead. Every fire day, open maneuvers are held for anyone able to fight during the second hour of the evening. So this is the thing. If you arrive here at these times, you can do these things. But obviously it's kind of tricky to to get to you know time it right 
to the second hour of the evening. When the hell is that? See, two hours afternoon, that's fair enough. Two is the second hour of the evening? What? <laughs> oh, anyway, bye. Because the evening starts, it depends what you think, right? Some would say, you know, six. But, you know. So they both, they're both at two. Here we are. So, that's a naughty place. So this is where we were, because if I check the map now, this, this is a temple. Yeah. That's, um... Temple of the... God, the, 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 the sea. So now I want to find that... Watchtower again. And that's here. So I'll just mark that on my map. Just a tavern. Naughty tavern. Yeah. The only thing I haven't found is that useful temple. Which I think is near a city gate. Which is this direction. I'm pretty sure I remember. No, no, I was wrong. Oh, see, there's so much to this place. Look at it, look at it all. I'm going up that there now. <laughs> There's like so much of it. <laughs> but we're going down here. To there. Um <laughs> gonna try to anyway. So there's a lot to explore. But we'll we'll get some adventuring done. I'm lost. <laughs> they did. No, I'm going the right way. Of course I am. I don't know why I even thought I was lost. Of course I'm not. Definitely not a Skyrim. No, it's definitely not a Skyrim town. Absolutely not. That's not you spell grave. Don't matter. Grave. Oh, there, there's grave from my old save. So I had, to, I had to spell it differently. Okay, new music. Ooh. Yeah, this is graveyard music. Yeah. Walk around the grave a few times, taking a good hard look at it. You can't see anything unusual. Do you want to open it? No. Well, it's probably better this, this way. Not only would you have a, di a displeased Boron, but you certainly would have angered the servant of Boron running towards you. He's probably been watching you for some time. Hi. Can I help you? Are you looking for a specific grave? No, thank you. You're the servant of Boron's, aren't you? The priestess has asked us to have a look around on account of the undead you've seen. Ah, yes, the undead. Well, it's been quite a while and there have been no more sightings, but go ahead and have a look. Couldn't hurt. Mind uh, you, don't disturb the peace of this hollowed ground, though. The servant of Baron turns away abruptly. He probably doesn't like the thought that a stranger is getting involved in his business. Hmm. Hiya, Tink. Damn real life. Yeah. Well, you're not like... Can you, can you go now? I got... I got a stream to watch. 
Anyway, we're about to start the first dungeon. We've been wandering around. So there's the. I'll just have a little cover this area. Um, we're wandering around Dreamer for a little bit, getting our bearings. Found the market square, picked up Thorgrim here. Got a nice. Uh, next to the statue, there's a small offertory bowl dedicated to the God of the Dead. Let's make an offering. Ten silver, maybe? Well, what do I say? What do I say? It's you, is it? Do you find anything? Uh, well, no, actually. I wanted to ask you a question. I'm busy. I'm sure you'll be able to get along without me. With that, the door is shut again. So. The entrance of the crypt is secured by a massive barred gate. Are you thinking of opening it? Well, I am. Sandra's crease is, is increased by three points. We all get more... Oh, this is probably just it returning to normal. Cassandra fumbles around for quite some time um, until at last she throws her arms up in disgust and packs up the lockpicks. I defy anyone to pick that lock, she growls. Grumpus takes a look at the crowbar, followed by a much longer look at the bars of the gate, which are at least twice as thick. Then he hits one of them with the crowbar. It rings out like a bell. Tempered, he comments, and puts the crowbar back into his pack. Hi, Exit. Not staying long? That sucks. How have you been? Kairi stands in front of the gate and waves his hands while um, murmuring something. The gate is singularly unimpressed and stays locked. Kairi shoots the gate a dark look. Then he starts posturing again. A few minutes later, he has to admit defeat. The, the crypt is magically sealed, and I can't break its spell. Grumpus discovers a weathered, moss-covered stone sign behind a curtain of plants. Carefully, he picks the moss from the letters. Fe la maya. Grumpus deciphers with some effort. Karish gives a soft whistle. When you all turn around to look at him, he's a bit embarrassed, but only for a short moment. Finally, he explains, this is the crypt of an elven vampire. That's why it's locked tight like this. Oh. Okay, we ain't going in there. We need to find a grave that's open or something. Let's see if any of these are different. Bodhi. <laughs> you know, it's really cool seeing these guys um, interact with each other. I really dig it. You know, my old NPC character, my, well, my old RPG characters all like chatting on an adventure together. You hardly touch the lock when the servant of Baron appears beside you. What are you doing? I told you not to touch anything. It takes some doing to convince the servant of Borons that you need to see the interior of the tomb, but in the end he agrees to unlock the age. Oh, so this is the tomb, the age one door. Eberus pulls a key from his pocket and opens the door. For one heartbeat there, he doesn't move a muscle, and then he whirls around screaming and runs away. For someone who deals with dead bodies every day, You'd expect you'd be a bit less frightened by the skeletons walking towards you. Should have saved it. All right, here we go. Uh, Hildy wants to attack. Oh, I need to move. Too close for a fire. Wait a minute. Oh, she's arranged. Oh, no. Okay, exit. Damn it. See, this is still too freaking fast, right? I mean, if I go to F3, 
not gonna work. I need to remember what my characters do now. So Ayana's back there. Ayana's a witch. So she want to cast a spell. Combat? Lightning? Skeleton's blinded, nice. Cassandra. Our rogue. Just attack. Oh, damn it. Variax, you want to move. Kind of him to go down here. Oh, it does horrible, because I remember that. We've got one dwarf there, one dwarf there. I don't know which is which. But if I put their X down here and this dwarf here, then Hilda can move back. Can you attack diagonally? I don't think you can, can you? Try great need with your witch. Okay. Yeah, now we just have to guard. Alright, Karish, you're going to cast a spell. Demonology. Okay. Summon a skeleton? There? Hmm. Cast a spell. Maybe there? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no. Maybe on the caster then. So you can't cast it on an empty square. You need a corpse. Oh! Okay. No, that's fine. We can do, you know, combat and that. Uh, I guess the higher level we go, the more magic we use. So maybe three. Control intensity. I don't. I don't know what you're saying. Like, is that a spell? Every level does d6 damage. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's do three then. Okay, you want to move here, and then just attack, and attack. All right, Hildy, you want to move away now? Just one square, I reckon. Uh, yeah, attack, like that one. Is that a gothic sound file? The... Ah! Does ring a bell with me. Yeah. There is also that repeat action button. This one? 
Let's just have a little look though, shall we? Although you want to cast Great Need with the uh, Mage. Not the, the Witch. We can cast something else, maybe. I mean, Acceleratus is really good, right? But why didn't that work? I saw Mr. Gonna lurk and work. Okay. Why can't I cast it on Thorgrim? That like, gives me nothing. Yeah, I'd rather just get some basics. I remember casting um, that before. I hope you're doing well, Sword Mister. Maybe I need to. Maybe it needs to be adjacent. Probably not worth it, though. Increased strength? Nothing. What? You need to stand next to the target or on it or on himself. Okay. I'll try that. I'll move there. Thank you, Power Scale. Are we going to cast movement acceleratus on Thorgrim? And he. That's basically haste. Alright, our... Rogue? Alright, Ayana, okay. So, cast spell, domination, great need, skeleton. Okay. Next to target. And now I can't cast this. I might as well attack. Nice, well done. Okay, we've got a body. Cast spell, demonology, that thing on the skeleton. No, oh, God. Maybe next to it? Yeah, next to it. Okay. Well, we'll get there eventually. I just gotta learn all these ins and outs. Yay! Cast spell. Demonology. Skeletarius. The skeleton returns from uh, uh, the dead to fight for you as a zombie. How does that work? Alright, good. All right, Ayana, cast spell, domination, gr oh well, now that one's dead, I'll have to move again. <laughs> uh, I might leave great need for another time. Because she's really out of position now. I can just do like combat and lightning on this dude. Don't think domination works on dead anyway. Hmm. Curious. Alright, Holly, just repeat the actions. You repeat your action. Oh, you repeat your action as well. That spell does. There you go. We'll have to wait, though. <laughs> Alright, cast spell. We get some healing, maybe. 
right? Maybe, I don't know. Fulminectus! Nice. Cassandra, where are you? Okay, yeah, just attack it. That armor dude's tough. Nice! We're getting there. Karish, alright. So the, the zombie's really slow, it only moves two, so it'll get there eventually. We can just like accelerate other people. Oh, you're gonna be next to him. Alright, we can try Iron Rust on him. Nope. Hoping to stream some more Bioshock tomorrow, but Lady Friend needs help with proofreading thesis stuff. Needs must and all that. Have to be in touch range. Looks like it's that for a lot of them, though. Oh, that's right, though, of course. Yeah, because if we break their items, we don't get them to loot. That's a good point. If you want to get into Bioshock Root, just... I would recommend just playing the last one, Bioshock Infinite. It's, um... It's really, really good. Indeed, Dashad. Alright, we'll, we'll move then. Like there. <laughs> Back off on this. Yeah, I mean, Bioshock, Bioshock Infinite is 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 pr pretty amazing. It's it's one of the most like um like finely produced games I think I've ever played. It's like so polished, and and they've obviously put so much work into like the characterizations and everything like that. It's really really good. Such a good game. Anyway, so you are back here I think I mean we might be able to heal people but I don't know who's hurt <laughs> so uh, we could probably try and heal her maybe if we move there cast a spell of healing we can do witch's spit on Cassandra uh like f four, five. Kaliba, my God. Oh, that's a oh, that took a lot of um, magic points, though. Wow. Some games you prefer to watch and, and play, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people, like prefer to watch Dark Souls, but don't have the patience to um, play it themselves, which is all fine. Alright, I'll move her there and then cast, uh... Oh no, I can't cast that. Has some extra effects, okay. Illusion? Which is not, what does that do? You can summon crows. Eight hey, crows appear, nice. All right, Grumpus.
Hildy, yeah, you, uh, actually, it might be best if you move one. Just in case. Barak, same thing. Karish, hmm. It's cheaper to heal poison and disease, I think, but it's not used in the game. A somewhat expensive healing spell. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. So maybe you can do some healing then? If we go to cast spell and healing and bam of runes, we can maybe cast that on... I don't, really, I don't think we need to, but we can cast it on Thorgrim anyway, just to have a look and see what it does. Like four. Yeah, I know Faust Girl, but I can always go and rest again. I'm just trying to cast just trying to, you know learn spells. Alright, Cassandra, attack this guy. And again. Zombies get in there. <laughs> oh, finally. All right. Planning on alt alt alternating the Bioshock and Dark Souls games. Oh, so you'll finish Bioshock 1, then do, Bi then do Dark Souls 1. You mean on stream? Because, I mean, streaming Dark Souls is... It's doable, obviously, you know. I mean, I've seen it done, but... Can be frustrating. Uh, summon some more crows. That worked. Yeah, okay, we're done. How do I just, just guard? Okay. We won. Right, so the looting is the same as the um, the shop. Okay, so that was interesting. So we can go and rest now. Yeah, I think. That's obviously not where we need to be. There's moss on this one. Ah, okay. Grumpus tries to examine the grave mound. He's pushed away by Ayana. That's unusual, she murmurs, uh, staring at the plant. The black lotus normally grows only in swampland. That's cool. The inscription on the chisel um, is chiseled on... A strongly weathered plaque of marble. You can recognize a few words. In memory of something victims of the Night of Horrors. Jürgen the Magician, brave in fighting powers of the darkness. Grumpus walks all around the grave mound and picks up some earth from it now and again. His eyes... He eyes the plant with some suspicion. It takes quite a while for him to reach a decision. Let's go, he says resolutely. This grave hasn't been opened since it was first covered. Ah. There's an axe on this one. Do you feel that I should go and rest though? <laughs> Grumpus examines the grave mound from all sides with a frustrating deliberateness. After which he goes down on his knees, picks up some of the earth, and rubs it between his fingers even more slowly. Finally, he stands up uh, and turns to all the others. This grave has not been disturbed. That's really cool, though, how, how, how Grumpus is doing it. Let's see if I can find any other unusual things on the graves. 
It could be a random one. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah, save. That's a good plan, Super Ginge. That is a good plan. Grieve. We'll save it as Grieve. Yeah, well, it is. Yeah, it's all... All the game. Yeah, so all... I'm guessing... Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Everything that we're seeing is due to... Um, stat tests. Ignore that for now. So the words we read were possibly a stat test, like ancient tongue, whatever. And if we didn't have a high enough skill, we wouldn't have read any of it. Maybe. New species of creature has entered your dungeon. Uh, Gilton Nam, thank you very, very much for the follow. You are now one of the people. That's really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> Thanks, FK. So if we... We gotta go and rest, right? The Naughty Inn there. We could just go to the Naughty Inn, right? Because one I followed before, just got home and saw you on my front page, but not on your followed list. Oh, well. Nice to uh, have the follow. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Veeple. How are you doing? How was your day? If we, if we go to the Naughty Inn, will we get more uh, Magicka back? Not too bad. Good to hear. Don't know why that would work. Do come in, this is the place to enjoy yourselves to the fullest, of course. Here's the price we paid. 28 silver. It might be expensive. Ah, screw it. Literally. That's enough we can't refuse. You aren't carrying that much money. <laughs> go on, Cassandra. Can't you get us a um, decent deal? There's a bathhouse too. I know. Oh, this is a tavern, but not an inn. Awkward. You do realize? No, I don't realize that. Um, obviously, I don't realize that. That's why I was thinking it was an inn. I agree, delicious. So we need to find an actual inn. Yes, actually. All right, so temple. All right, tavern. Clothes. We can try the tavern. We obviously need a bit of magic back. Yeah, this is a bed, okay, so. Dormitory, I guess so. Just one. Good night. Oh, hang on. Or well, maybe um, he doesn't have enough. Uh... Yeah. Um, we can rest for twenty-four hours. That's probably gonna get us the more astral points back. Oh yeah, of course we can. That buff is now gone. Um, that didn't really help at all. So resting doesn't really repair your astral energy.
No. All right, let's check out these tombs, uh, graves. Grumpus kneels down beside the grave mound, picks up a clod of earth and crumbles it between his fingers. He starts, takes another clod and repeats the exercise. Then Grumpus takes a deep breath, gets up and looks at you with a serious expression. This grave should be the same age as the other two. He states and takes a long look at the two neighboring graves, but the ground is so much, it's much too loose for that. The ground is so loose, you can shift it without tools. God, it doesn't take long at all for the uh, lot of you to look like earth beetles. Ah! Skillfully, Thorgrim uncovers some wooden boards that are quite easy to remove. Beneath them, a dark opening becomes visible with a leader, with a ladder. Oh no, ladder, no. Going down, anyone? <laughs> Going down, anyone? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. So that's when we came in. Try and pick the lock. Nice. Treasure. Sure, it'll be fine. Just watch. I bet you see loots. Look at that. Loots! Following in my footsteps. Look at this one, though. Oh, God. <laughs> Pick the lock. Just thinking about it. Oh, look at all the stuff. All right. Um. Oops. I can't remember who's who and what who's good at what. So obviously we got a lot of alchemy here. Is that the mage then for alchemy? I honestly don't remember. The witch. Which is the witch? Is it the Oh it's Ayana. Okay. Mandrake there. Yeah. Is there a take all button at all? <laughs> well, weed and single barrier healing herbs. So how do we use them? Just drink, drink them, just eat them? So which ones? Let's see, whirlweed and singleberry. Whirlweed. So that one's good. Don't have any singleberry, but... Chew them raw. Okay. That's good. Yeah, Intoxicumber. Alright. Two more. Big luck. Oh, licorice and stuff like that. Okay. Bonbons? An alchemy set. All right. And it just... An alchemy set for the alchemist. Um, so 
some books and crystal balls and stuff. I thought he was, you know, but I thought well, that's... But she's got all the alchemy equipment, so I was a bit like, oh, okay. Take all the bombs. Take them all. Wine ball. Yeah, for the dwarf. Alright. A lot of loot. Wait, and then we get antidotes, super healing potion, sleeping potion. All right, super healing potion for the dwarf. And the rest of the potions can go to you. Strong magic potion. Oh, that's... Um, one for Karish, I think. So that'll restore ast astral energy, yeah? That was good. Uh, better not. Very useful, yeah. Hmm. Can't be good, right? Oh god. Drat. Do I want to take this along? Oh boy, I forgot. I, I didn't see what he said. And now I'm frightened if I say no, I won't be able to get the dialogue again. Um. I'm taking it. No way. I'm going to put um, out the nail without damaging the ornament. You need a pair of pliers. Okay. I did just save. No, I need some pliers for it anyway, though, so. Down the corridor we go. Ooh! <laughs> this room is guided by a golem that immediately attacks! <laughs> Ayana. Um. Hmm. Blind it? Hang on. Maybe because it's... Yeah, all right. I'll have to move you into position, I think. This is only one of them. Right, I'm just going to move you out here for now. All right, Cassandra. You're right in, in its face, but that's kind of cool. All right. This is going to take a lot of uh, hits, I reckon. Right, Hildy, you also need to get somewhere where you can hit it all the time. So I'm thinking there. Variax, you shall move here. And attack. Sometimes you can only remove your casters out the way and leave them in the back, waiting until everything's over. I think I might do that with this one. If we get him surrounded... 
<laughs> yeah, Ginge. Weight reduces movement points. That's really cool. That's the detail in this game I'm loving about. You know, it's, it's so good. Shame we can't have more. Okay, you go down there. So move there. And Karish, yeah, I might just have you just guard up there. And guard again. Right, you're just going to repeat. Grumpus. Licorice elemental? Might be. The more you carry around, the less movement speed you have. That's really cool. I mean, it, it makes sense, but still, you know, it's, it's such a such a good game. Such a good, detailed game. All right, I'm going to move back here so Thorgrim can get in. And Dwarf backstab! 12 damage, nice. All right, I've got him surrounded, so now I'll just repeat actions forever. Until it dies. We're all pretty healthy, though now I've said that, of course. <laughs> there we go. Ow. <laughs> Oh, we're still fine. So what did the golem look like before? Actually... It's fine. I don't want to know. Is there a way to tell how damaged this thing is? Just some sort of vague indication? Okay, so... <laughs> what? Yeah, um, yeah. Even if it's, if, if it's a little damage, right? It's still, um... Still helpful. All right, let's save it as yay. <laughs> Bodies. Now it's not a painting. Watch. The dead in here have been laid out in an orderly line. They have been embalmed with some extremely pungent ointment and look as if they were just asleep. Do you care for a closer look? Absolutely. Wrinkling her nose, Cassandra takes a few careful steps closer to the body. Suddenly her eyes widen and she pulls one of the corpses from the line. Cassandra stares at the body. If this is the servant of Baron, then who did we talk to before? Dun, dun, dun. Good picture as well. Loots, right? I don't know. Just I use wood, right? Adventurers just poking their head, you know, hands in everything. Looks like someone has robbed some warrior graves with this collection of bones. You notice various weapons and pieces of armor. When you step closer, the bones start to move. Three skeletons rise and attack you. But loot! One of your weapons broke, I think. Okay. Don't know which one though, or... Oh. 
All right, we'll make him wait for now. Grumpus. Ex All right, exchange items. Use the iron shield. Um, I mean, he's got a. He still has a hammer. I don't know what you mean by escape, Falskelt. Just take your... Ugh. Just take your time, okay? And write what you need to write. I can wait. Concentrate on this guy. Where are you? You get him? Nice. And Karish. Doing him? No. All right, we'll cast, we'll cast haste on Thorgrim next time. <laughs> Thorminixus is good then, yeah, I think. Because there's, there's so many spells to use, I have no idea, like, which is good. So I've got her as well, who can cast spells, but she's got a bow, which she seems like very good with. Got it here as well. I mean, might work. Yeah, that works. Nice. Nope. What does God actually do? I think. I think what it'll do is it'll skip your turn and increase your defense. Maybe. I mean, that makes sense to me. Put it in my thrusher. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hang on. Nice. Okay. Gonna move that. Um, hmm. Gonna move here. Okay. Don't know if it's really worth it. Oh. 
It'll work on this guy. One damage, nice. Love it when they fumble and kill themselves. Happens more often in pen and paper. Should happen in this. All right, you need to move. There. Okay. Move there. Ah. Uh. This is awkward. Oh, for, okay. Just guard then. Uh, Karish, you're not in the way. Yeah, I don't think that's going to really do a lot then. Yeah, guarding just makes you skip. Not sure about the increase in defense. Nor does it trigger an automatic attack when someone walks past. Yeah. Played this game back in the days with your brother. Good memories, but the mechanics are still not quite clear to me. Well, really? <laughs> still, you know, all knowledge is... If we pool our knowledge together, <clears throat> we might be able to piece something together, right? Or if you go there, you'll get a, at least an angle on that skeleton. All right, one more. All right, Grumpus... I'm going to ask you to move there. Yeah. All right, Cassandra is... Fine where she is. Hildy, I think I want you to move, right? No, you're actually... Well, I do, but... Um, there. Can you hit that? Nice. And Ayana. I hope, Deshad, I hope. That's all I need, right? <laughs> well, Ayana's all out of magic and stuff, so she can just move back. She's in the way. With her stupid slippers. Grumpus is taking a... Bit of a pounding. But I can use a potion. Though I think... I don't know. Can I use a potion? Hang on. Exchange items. Character options. Uh, no. Load game? <laughs> Just keep attacking then, I guess. Get him. We're gonna have to, uh... Take him out. And if you move there. Actually, I shouldn't have gone there, but. We can move next time, maybe. That's why it's important to have a diverse party which can, um, to know who is who more easily. You put them, put the item in hand, then use the item. It needs a lot of moving points, but it's doable. I don't even know if I have like a... Um... Spare weapon for him.
That sounded like it hurt. <laughs> Okay, one left. Hit something, Barry Axe. No? Oh, look at Luke. <laughs> Alright, let's get you out of there. Yeah, there's no difference, Iron Works. No difference. Yeah, poor little guy. Grumpus, yeah, just guard. Ah, oh, change weapon. It's actually highlighted, but... We survived. Uh, do you want to carry some weapons? Yeah, so look at that, it's damaged. Why is the thing, the one freaking thing that we can't replace damaged? No, 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 no. Stop. So this is broke. We can give him a shot as a sword, right? I mean, a bit of nothing. Yeah, a little bit. But I can heal out of combat, so. You know, with these. Where did the sword go? Oh, it would have... Swapped it? Yeah, nice. Okay, that's nice. That's clever. That is clever. Yeah, I think we will try and find that temple. We're kind of... Kind of, kind of exhausted here. Uh, better not. Uh, so, phew. Just about did that. The only thing is, the only thing is, guys. The only thing is that um, there's there's another thing here. Oh, that's so. Uh, that's totally gonna be a fight. No, 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 no. No, let's leave. Let's leave. Courage could try some meditating. If I knew how, we need to get some pliers as well. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Now we could go and see this dude as well. The door is locked and no one answers your knocks. With a short run, Thorgrim throws himself against the door, which flies into the house with a loud crash. When you charge in, the supposed servant of Baron is busy getting out from under the smashed door that seems to have hit him nearly in the centre of the room. Uh, the demon standing next to him, on the other hand, appears to have been uh, missed by the smashed door entirely. Oh, Christ. Ah. Uh. We, we should have gone to rest. <laughs> I, th I was thinking this could be timed. That's why I came here. Might reload, perhaps. No. No. Hi, Clone Fluxus. How are you? We're just we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. So there's no time limit on that, right? Just just to make sure. If we load we load a few. Yeah, we'll just we're just gonna 
No, tell me. Okay, just just checking because you know it's one of those games where it could maybe have time limits, so that's why I was like, yeah. We'll do the demon fight another day. All right, so Igni is the main damage spell, flame cast. Okay, so it's like it's like uh, flame arrow, or whatever. Okay. Hi, Snow. Welcome in. How are you? Demonstrate your authority. <laughs> Clever. How was your day, Snow? Hmm. I don't think it is dark, you know? You see over the bridge. Okay. Where are we going? Oh, you, you want me to take me to that temple, right? Right, okay. So where do I go? No, I'm just kidding. I, I know what you mean. Um, your day was alright? Good, 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 good. I know what you know. I was, I was trolling you. <laughs> Oh wait, I recognize this. Hang on a minute. Who is this? It's Thorgrim! Right, it's... No, no, there it is. That's it. So over here is a gate outside, yeah. But this is the best temple in the game. I can more or less tell. Hi. Raise Raja. Uh, Elijah Carbeck has sent us. Priestess looks at you in surprise. About what? She asked uh, us to have a look around town. It's about the edge conspiracy. Ah, uh, yes, I know. We've been talking about it just now. What can I do for you? Let's talk about Raja. Can't dance and sing in temples. That sucks. Could you enlighten us about uh, your goddess? Put your heart and soul into all you do and the goddess will reward your dedication. With ecstasy? Sounds like a good deal to me. Let's go in river. Some dwarves have established a mine near the town. It's very unusual with the next mountain range so far away. And to dig a mine here in our hills, this close to the sea. Is that of interest to you? Uh, maybe. Orcs. Do you believe there are there is a conspiracy of the orcs in uh, and Halberkins? They're very hard to believe. The evidence does point that way. Huh, okay. And nobody knows about them. Okay, so. Indeed, so. She'll make your weapons magical, which doesn't make them better, just magical. Huh. But I guess, well, that would make them better against certain enemies, right? What button do I press? What do I do? What other temple? Is this not where you were guiding me? Because I was, like, really chuffed when I found it. Well, this is the temple of, um... Ra Raja. Okay. We'll mark that on our map anyway. Well, let me let me back up my map and then we'll discuss humping. Some like that. Learn your gods. Um, 
Temple next door, close. I knew it was. I, well, I was close, right? I was, I was close. It was around here. This one. There we go. Hello. Praise Zah. The liar car back has asked us to take a look around town. She also said that you'd be able to help. Gladly share my knowledge. You have put to ask. Tell us about Zah. Would you like us about the goddess? All is subject to continual renewal. Nothing is forever. Ta is creation, rebirth, and healing. Um, something going on? Temple of Firon, there's a problem there. That's the graveyard. Do you still believe the conspiracy of the Orcs and Holberkins? Not really, but there's a base of speculation. The Holberkins are the only ones who have contacted the Orcs, yeah, for trade and stuff. Um... No one knows about them. Okay. See beyond the limits. Rejuvenate. I'd love to rejuvenate. Um. Right. Let me just mark this on the map. Surely a terrible wig. Surely not. All right. So what, 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 what button do I press? This one? That one? This one? That one? The arms up guy. No. Do I just see spam in this? I'm sure we got a, a, a dwarf healed. <laughs> I go, I want Yeah, we, we're healed. So that's good. Yeah, so for free, that works. Oh, fine. You know, I don't even know if I have that much. Nope. We will donate. Nothing. I don't even know how to do that, by the way, I think. It's like that. You don't want to piss off the gods in this. I like it. This is right. Did it. Okay. Shoot me up. See so what we you put? Ten. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay. Wonderful. Do I have a little look outside? Teeny, teeny little look outside. Ah, oh, it's closed. Boring. All right, let's find an inn. <laughs> um oh this way there it is
We have to listen to the music. <laughs> For anyone who missed it for the first time. Yeah, he booze is a god. Yeah, absolutely. This is all like really good, you know. This is all like above board, nice tavern music, right? And then for some reason they decide, yeah, you know what? Well, my, my eight-year-old daughter, you know, she plays the kazoo. Can we put her in the? She wants to, and everyone was like, yeah. Bring her in. Yeah, we can, we can get a recording and then we'll put it into the game. And... And so, so you get this. Damn it, damn it. All right, next, next. Verse. <laughs> All right, rent a room, fine. We'll do a single one. Uh, just one. There we are. No dancing. Ugh. I know. And then it's... <laughs> James, what are you doing? Anyway, how many? Um, one? Don't kill yourself. So... So, um... I know. I know, Tail. So I reckon this will be fine? Oh. 50, you say? <laughs> I'll work this out eventually. Ow. That was certainly not worth it, man. Does I want to do that as well? Yeah. Absolutely, FK. I have no doubt that this is a game that lets you do that. Because Karish tried to, con well, he successfully converted life points into astral points. I mean, we can test it, right? But if I leave, I might not be able to rest. Oh, I don't even know anyway. Uh, no, better not. We're just gonna, you know, um, save the game as. There's few, I guess. Is Carrie's staff fully powered? Well, it's a bit. You have to ask him. I, I don't. I don't mess with that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, yes. Okay. Right. So. We are going to meditate with Karish. Absolutely. 90. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so I don't think you can. It kind of defaulted to the max. <laughs> he does not look happy, does he? <laughs> the thing is, the, 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 there's what, like 60 faces in the game at least, and they'll all have this version of them, so there's an awful lot of um, detail in the game. Uh, we might keep that, you know. I'm sure it'll be fine. And it just... Meditation is supposed to make you feel better, right? You don't, you don't come out of meditation looking like this. <laughs> well, maybe um, if we rest, 
he'll be he'll he'll heal a bit, right? Um, what 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 time is it? I, I wish I could check. Hang on, can we escape this? Um, so yeah, we could rest for ages. We can rest for like fourteen hours. Yeah, see, he's, that kind of works. <laughs> I know, Ginge. Oh, damn it! I, the, the kazoo. I, 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 I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Cool. I'm just gonna pop outside because you know I know there's some nice music outside as well. Sorry, Tail. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Intense look of boredom. The guards watch you stream of people. Um, you earn a closer but no less tired look. Do you want to leave the city? Yeah. Stop! Wait a minute! Shouts Thorgrim. Oh, I have been outside there for the entire week. Best travel without me for today. Maybe next time I'll come with you. Do you want to separate from Thorgrim? Alright, no. Okay. So you, he won't leave here. Never mind then. Well, that's for another day. That's an amazing skill, Ginge. Amazing. Well done. I know, Ash Fritz. I know. Well, I'm going to save it there. New save. Uh, stream one, I guess? Stream two. And uh, we'll call it there, I'm afraid. We'll, we'll leave it there. It's been it's been good. I've enjoyed it, but I'm feeling pretty tired now. And I don't wanna don't wanna push it. Right now though, is the furthest I've got in the game. Apart from because it's kind of weird, because this is technically this is the third time I've started the game. The first time I didn't have any help. So I went straight to the dwarf mines and got my ass kicked because that's not where you're supposed to go first. But um, so I will remember bits of the Dwarf Mine when we get there. But the second time, I did have a bit of help. It was probably from Farrowscale, but I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, and we, we went and did the... Um, you know, we got Thorgrim, and we did the, the graveyard. And so that's what I've just done. So next time, when we continue the graveyard, it will be completely and utterly blind for me. I won't have a clue what I'm doing. So that should be fun. So hooray. Um... You guys are like so. You should form a band. Ginge and Baden plays. Think of it. The kazoo players, right? Be amazing. Um, right. So I'm going to end the um, recording for the people on YouTube. If you are doing so, I do thank you very much for watching. I look forward to your hints, tips, and comments. And I will see you next time. Toodaloo.